Welcome to the CBS ArcSafe video demonstration series. In this video, we will be demonstrating the installation and operation of the RRS 3 dhp -L. The RRS 3 dhp -L is designed to work with Westinghouse type DHP and DVP circuit breakers, rated from 1200 to 3000 amps. To allow for proper use of this RRS 3, a pair of mounting pins must be installed on the breaker. These pins ensure that the RRS3 is located properly on the breaker, and prevents rotation of the tooling during operation. To install these pins, first remove one of the bolts from the bottom of the breaker faceplate. Then, bolt the pin into place with the included hardware. Finally, repeat the operation on the other side of the breaker. Be sure to only remove one bolt at a time, to prevent any possible movement of the faceplate. Please note that the equipment shown in this demonstration is not in service. To install the RRS 3 dhp -L, first slide the locator loops on over the locating pins, and fix the RRS 3 in place using the twist lock magnets. Slide the racking motor forward, so the racking tool slides over the pin in the racking screw. Rotate the tool of the RRS3 to align it if necessary. To operate the RRS3, connect the 4-pin cable to the RSO and RRS3, and then turn on the RSO. Verify the current settings in your RSO4 by pressing the Install and Remove buttons on the CCM. Settings will vary by device, and are printed on a placard on the inside of the RSO4 lid. To rack the breaker in, press the install button on the RSO, or wireless remote. Local operation is shown in this demonstration. The racking operation may take up to one minute to complete. After the operation is complete, the motor will free spin before shutting off automatically. Manually stop the operation by pressing the remove button. To rack the breaker out, press the remove button on the RSO or wireless remote. The racking operation may take up to a minute to complete. After the operation is complete, the motor will free spin, just as during the install operation. Manually stop the operation by pressing the install button. Turn off the RSO4 when operation is complete. To remove the RRS3, first remove the cable connected between the RSO and RRS3. Then, rotate the tool so it disengages the racking screw pin, and retract the motor assembly. Finally, disengage the twist lock magnets, and remove the RRS3. If you have any questions about this, or any other CBS ArcSafe product, Please feel free to contact us by phone, at 1-877-4-SAFETY. By email, at info at cbsarcsafe.com. Or visit us on the web, at cbsarcsafe.com. And remember, distance, is safety.